Now, a singer can be a difficult road and starting out in a small town might make that even a little bit harder, but a local podcast production house is expanding their services and branching out as a new music label right here in Waco. Joining us to share the details about the new, the new Rogue music label, we have music manager Sheridan Vasquez and the CEO of Rogue Media Network, Mike Hamilton. Thank you both for coming. We've been here before. Thank you. Thanks. Welcome back. Nice to meet you and see you for the first time here. Yes. This is a big, uh, a big thing that's going on. But before we get into that, can you remind people about what Rogue Media Network is, Mike? Yeah, we are. Uh, we're a podcast uh, production house, but we are vastly becoming just a media company. Um, we do a lot of video, do a lot of audio. We're putting out 50, 60 episodes of podcasts per week. Uh, we've just opened our sports wing, so we're doing a lot of sports stuff with your buddy Pete and a yeah. few others. And uh, we're we're expanding about as fast as, as I've ever experienced with this company. And it's amazing watching your journey and where all the places you've been and all the things you've been doing and seeing things really just, I mean, steamroll ahead with all these great new projects. Um, how did you decide or why did you decide a music label was kind of the next step in the rogue evolution? Yeah, well, um, I, I fooled Corey into the, our owner into doing it. Uh, and so I, I just love live music. You know, and, and it seems like a natural to go with our podcast, uh, to be able to have music in the family and be able to use it and be able to do music shows and things like that. It just felt like the right thing. We have a lot of musicians in Central oh, yeah. Texas, and it's a great way to kind of put their talent out there. Yeah. Um, and Sheridan, tell us a bit about your background, um, how you got involved on in this project as well. So um, I am a student at MCC, I'm about to start my second year, and I found Rogue because I was trying to find a internship um, because I'm trying to get my audio technology degree, and I was like, studios in Waco on Google. <laughs> and so I found them and I emailed them, and yeah, and I, it turned into an internship, and now I have a job. What was it like for you kind of on the uh, end of meeting someone and watching her walk in, and, and how was that? So, so Sheridan came in and uh, we talked about doing some different things in the podcast studio and then we started talking music a little bit and um, she's young and so that really helps. Um, nobody wants to talk to a 55 year old man about their new music. And so, um, but we, we kind of tested Sheridan, we gave her a task to do and uh, boy, she exceeded what we asked her to do and so we're like, she should be the face of the music. Wow, she's she's just a great worker. She has a lot of knowledge, and she's getting a degree in the right stuff. You know, that's fantastic. Okay, so obviously we talked about the fact that there's a lot of good, uh, a lot of good musical talent in Waco. Are you looking for artists right now, or you're trying to put the feelers out for more people? Where do you think stand with all that? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I think we're pretty open to finding all types of new artists. We're looking for kind of singer songwriter uh, acts with just kind of you know, guitar and amp, and yeah. I think we can help those types of people very, very well. And any particular genres or come one, come all? No, I mean, just every think? genre, just throw them at us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, she's been able to find um, a lot of bands that uh, we didn't really know about, singers, songwriters that we didn't know about, and so she's been able to uncover a lot of a lot of folks that probably wouldn't have come to us initially. That's pretty, that's really amazing. I can't wait to see who comes out of the woodwork, you know, who has had a hidden talent for so many yep. years and are finally going to share it. Uh, there's a QR code on the screen right now that goes to the label website. Uh, and on the site, you mentioned, uh, you mentioned it being anti-record label. You know, what does that mean to you? How is it different than other labels out there? So being an anti-label means that we don't own your music. We, we're not your manager. What we're going to help you do is find live gigs, help you distribute your music in places that maybe you're not doing uh, right now. And then um, what, we're also going to help with marketing and any, anything that helps get the word out about you. And you're leading into that. You're kind of leading into this next question. Yeah. But, you know, how can the artist benefit from becoming a part of this label? Yeah. Um, I think that Rogue Music is just a really good um, business for people who just don't know where to start. They want to do stuff with their music, but they just, they don't know how. And I think, you know, as somebody, especially, you know, people my age who are young and they want to do all these things, you know, where do you go? Especially in Waco, you know, in Central Texas area. Yeah. It's that's the people they, they find you because there's a there's a need there and then they look and they wow bam there you are that's that's kind of an exciting thing to see too um and for you you know to be able sheridan to um, help an artist kind of find gigs to to basically live their dream what's that what's that like for you knowing that's going to be your role your role now 
I am really excited to help people's dreams pretty much come true. Yeah. You know, even if, you know, we're kind of like a stepping stone and they move on after a little while, it will be so exciting for me mm -hmm. to see them have success. For sure. And same, I mean, same for you. It has to be. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Same for me. I, um, we, one of the things that I wanted to mention is that uh, some of the services included, we've got uh, some studios that are set up that do the actual recording and mastering. So we won't do that on premises because it's not our gig. You know, that's not our thing. Uh, we want to send you to a professional studio. Then we have places in Waco and around Waco for you to go and perform. I mean, we've, we've got some stuff tailor made for the right folks. Just knowing how your brains work a little bit, I, I smell a festival coming. Is that, could be. Is that a could possibility? Be. Yeah, very I'm well just could be. putting that out there. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Which you might be a music that? series, might be a festival, might be that. Both? Performing on top of the Alaco. I don't know. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we'll see. Right, right yeah. up there, right back That's behind right. us. That's right. I know it's exciting. Any advice for someone who just kind of made the decision to finally pursue music professionally you'd you like to give? Uh, just put it out there for anybody who's interested in doing it. Um, I think it's just good advice to just kind of go with your gut and just kind of jump in head first. I mean, yeah. I don't think there's anything that you could do wrong. Just be creative and do all the things that you want to do. Yeah. And just, just keep pushing. Yeah. You know, that's, that's it. Yeah. And that's what I tell podcasters. That's what I'll tell musicians. Just keep doing it and outlast the rest of them. I know the focus is obviously about this new label. Very exciting. Anything else happening at Rogue you'd like to share? Uh, just talking about sports. You know, we, we have a lot of sports content all of a sudden. Uh, uh, we have the Cam show. We have Pete Souza show. We have King McClure, who used to play at Baylor. He does a show. We got uh, Matt Mosley and uh, Ed Warner, who used to be on ESPN. They do a Dallas uh, Cowboys show called Doom, Doomsday Podcast. <laughs> Um, we've got we've got a lot of stuff in the works. We're starting our first um, original production okay. uh, with voice actors and the whole thing. So really, if you want to get into any of this? Just give us a call. I, the brainstorming sessions must be the most amazing moments. Like I, I would love to be a part of. Them. Yeah, it's usually the shower, but yeah, sure, <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. I love it. Listen, thank you guys both for being here. Mike Hamilton and Sheridan. Uh, if you want to learn more about Rogue Music, you can just scan the QR code right there on your screen. And we look forward to hearing more about the music label and artists that you'll be uh, helping to grow. I know there's going to be good things coming. So thanks again. Thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you.